What's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. This is quick tip number 35. Uh, today's quick tip is back to the basics. But like I said, we need to get everything involved. The quick tip today is about the envelopes on Fruity Loops, particularly the base envelope. Um, a lot of y'all are going to know this already, but for y'all who don't, you know, shame on you. And this is something that you definitely need to know and you need to be applying toward your music. But that's why I'm going to share it today. It's a quick tip. It's about the envelopes. Everybody, a lot of people know this, but I'm just going to pick an 808. I don't even know if y'all can hear this. Yeah, I can hear it. This is an 808, as you can see. And um, a lot of times what you can do is you can click right here on this button. It brings up the envelope. And a what a lot of people do and what you can do and try to see if it helps you. When we play the 808, just kind of rings and then it stops and if I had two 808s going back and back to each other it is cutting them off but at the same time it also has the the long tail you know that there's a boom at the very end so if there was a pause like it's gonna catch the long tail every time because this is the envelope right here and a lot of time what you can do is you can bring your attack right here this is the attack you can bring the attack down meaning that the sample is going to start immediately when you push the key and we can bring the hold up meaning that it's going to hold as long as we push the key and then we can bring the decay sustain and the release down so as you can see, the only thing that's really up is the hold. Everything else came down. So you turn down the attack and decay, sustain, release. And what you get is the square. And you might see a lot of people do this. And what we're doing is we're controlling the envelope of the sound. When I push a key, it has a quick attack. It comes in quickly. It holds as long as it can because I push the hold up. And then it stops suddenly because I have the decay, sustain, and release. So basically, it gives you a lot of control over the bass or any sound, meaning that when I push the key, it rings. When I let go of the key, as you can see with this line right here, it stops. It stops immediately. That can be real good with the bass. A lot of time with the bass, you want to control it. You want it to boom and stop suddenly and, and then hit some more notes. And um, this is how we control the bass and the sound by controlling the envelope. You probably already know this. If you did not know this, I'm glad that I was the one to show you. This is something that we use almost all the time. Try it if you don't already. Cadillac Tracks 1.